Hello, my name's Dagmar, and I really thank you for coming over to check out my 100 Day Stitch Book. Um, this was um, a project that we followed along with Anne Wood, and she gave us some some guidelines. And she said, if you stitch for 15 minutes a day, after 100 days, you'll have 20 pages of stitching that you can put into a book. So I have done her projects before, and I really love the way she teaches and just the way that she tries to explain things. So this is my take on the 100 day stitch book. So what I did is I stitched more than 15 minutes a day, but I had a lot of time to be able to stitch. So what I did is first of all, I stitched all the pages for the 100 days. Then at towards the end of the project, I stitched two pages together. Sometimes I did a blanket stitch around them like some of these. And some of them I just did a simple stitch around the page to hold them together. So once I had four pages together, I stitched them together over here. Then I stitched together three more pages like that. And it didn't matter to me because it's my own book that I, this one's a little bit shorter. It's not quite as square. I just think that's all part of the charm of having a book that's, you know, handmade. And I love the imperfection of it. So then I sewed together three more pages. So I have a total of 20 pages. Then what I did is I stitched all the pages together and then I added this lace to cover where I stitched. So let's go through it just a bit more slowly. Um, on here, I just did some different colors that I thought would match. I filled in a leaf here. Most of the time, I just sort of did patchwork of similar um, quality of, of stitching. I use quite often one or two just neutral threads. This one here, like I'd cut off part of a napkin that I had hand dyed. I have some French laundry labels on just about every one. I have lots of beautiful vintage yo-yos from Debbie from Dollhouse Vintage in England. This was something I did a long time ago. Some beautiful batiks from my friend Cheryl, who lives in Australia, but has a place in Bali. So she, when she goes over there, I've been gifted some beautiful fabrics. I don't use red very often, but I did like these two red pieces that I did put together. And you can see, this is very simple. It's just pieces of fabric stitched down with canthus stitch or a running stitch. And this was a piece of fabric I bought in Hawaii in 1994. And I love these little pieces of just stitching. I did do some circles, and these are all French knots, which I really like to sew or stitch. Just different color combinations that I thought would look nice together. This felt bird I had cut out a long time ago, probably 20 years ago, and it's been languishing in my little hoardy pack. And so I decided to put her on a really pretty piece of, um, I think this is a vintage hanky and add some different colors and set her free on my page. You can see I love the puffs. I think I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six here and the French laundry label. And this one isn't square and it doesn't bother me. I've never been one for perfection. I just think it's more important to have fun and actually do it. Um, this is one of my only neutral ones that I did. I love writing on the um, the stitching and then stitch in what I've written. Here's some bark cloth that I exchanged on another uh, project I was doing. 
and then my wonderful friend Cheryl who sent me these beautiful Bali batiks. And then this last page, as you can see, by the time you stitch everything together, it was a bit short. So I just resolved that. I just added a piece of lace that matched this, opened this up, slid it over, and there you have my 100 day stitch book for 2023 all completed. So thank you so much for watching. If you found any of this helpful, um, please consider giving it a like. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments and I'll certainly try to answer them the best that I can. And if you can, I'm trying to build up my YouTube following. If you could subscribe, I'd be very appreciative. So thank you. And I live in beautiful West Kelowna, British Columbia. So hello to all of the followers that I do have. I hope you have a really lovely day.